IQT problems. I was gonna write a nice thank you card to someone for something sweet that they did. And then I realized that there is no pen in this room, which means that there's only a pen two sets of stairs down. But I mean, that's really not gonna happen. Let's get honest, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write them a card another day. <laughs> well, hello again, my beautiful friends. Welcome back. I just got out of a counseling session and I was just gonna say that and leave it at that. And then I realized, I've said I was, you know, just about to head into counseling or my counselor's about to come over in like four or five videos. It probably sounds like I'm in counseling every day. Let me assure you, I'm not. I do go to counseling every week though because I, I really put a high priority on mental health, especially in times of change like this. And yeah, I've fallen into really unhealthy patterns before in my life and I do not want to do that again. And with a big change like amputation, I want to make sure that I handle it in a the healthiest way possible and at least identify patterns. And that's kind of what today's video is about. I've noticed that it's really started to have more of a mental impact on me than I thought. And I think that's probably to be expected as I'm kind of coming out of survival mode from you know getting out of surgery and getting back into the swing of life. I noticed that things like going out in public um, is hard, harder than I, I thought it would be. And I'm still doing it. That doesn't stop me, but it doesn't change the fact that I do struggle with it. And I need to find ways of adjusting to that and coping with that. And previously in my spare time, I've been an artist. Um, I've loved drawing, but I've gotten really, really far away from it. And I used to journal all the time. So today we are going to have a bit of an adventure. So first of all, practicing you, a journal by Elena Brower, yeah? Hmm, yeah. Found this a while ago, thought it was beautiful, threw it in a cupboard, and never thought about it again until today. And I thought it might be a good way to start journaling. So I'm gonna randomly pick a page, and we're gonna do that together. What are we doing today? Ooh, this looks promising. Well, I think God or the universe kind of picked this page. It says, how have my heartbreaks helped me find my tribe? I mean, they're kind of writing prompt in a pretty watercolor fashion. And so I'm gonna take some time, start journaling, see if I can get back in the habit of it. And secondly, bullet journaling. Now, before you think you were just going crazy with journaling, bullet journaling is more like sketching out your life. Hopefully you can't read any of that because it's probably personal. If you can, oh well. There are so many different ways you can take it, but it's a really creative way of expressing yourself. Um, it can be, you know, drawing, it can be scheduling, it can be whatever it is. So I am going to write out the rest of my week with some goals that I know that I can achieve and stick to and also try to practice some creativity, which I have not done in a long time, and see if maybe these feel like healthy coping skills that I could start using to help me along this new journey that I am on. share something. First of all, I think I need to start doing this consistently because I definitely do feel less anxious and anxiety is something I feel like I've been like carrying around this mounting ball of anxiety. But the writing prompt on this page was, how have heartbreaks helped me find my tribe? And I've gone through a lot of stuff in my life. And something that I have noticed is that when some astronomical life event happens when something severe, something traumatic, you are able to realize the people who are truly there for you. You notice the people who show up, the people who say they're gonna show up and who don't, and the people who just disappear. And on the one hand, that can be really, really painful. On the other hand, I think there is so much, so much of a gift in that. Because you get to realize the people who are truly there and the people who really love you, and I definitely see that played out again this part in my life. I used to carry around so much bitterness for people who like left me at crucial moments in my life when I had gone through so much trauma and needed people, but I realized in retrospect that they just weren't equipped to help me um, along with some other things. But, but now, as people flock around me, I am just filled with so much gratitude. And though this is a heartbreak in so many ways, it does help me find my tribe. 
it helped me grow my tribe. And I, I don't know, I just thought that was something kind of interesting to reflect on. All right guys, that's my mini rant for today. Let's move on to bullet journaling. Something that I would honestly recommend to anyone. I don't, like regardless of if you're an artist, regardless of if you like journaling, regardless of if you're a type A or type B personality, it is really super effective for organizing and super effective for being expressive at the uh, same time, which is why I like it. So let me come up with some goals for this week. Daily goals, weekly goals, maybe I'll think a month ahead, we'll see. And uh, I'll start writing, start drawing, and see how I feel after that. I flipped on this camera and realized the headband I've been looking for all day was around my neck. I did not finish things yesterday as I got a little too tired, a little too migrainey, and turned off the camera and laid down. So, I did finish things earlier today though. I want to show you the results of my bullet journaling which I have decided will be helpful in coping with life. I came up with priorities and then a couple things to do every day. I haven't filled out the rest of the pages here, but here's what I've got. As far as priorities for the next few days, weeks, months, years, I want to control anxiety, uh, definitely in the next couple weeks anyways, focus on proper wound healing, just mild exercise every day, obviously not overdoing it, but doing enough to keep blood flowing and um, trying to stay reasonably healthy. And then consistent sleep, which hey, I usually take a lot of z to be able to rest. Doesn't work super well right now with pain and medications, but at least trying to, like trying to like turn off electronics, um, you know, maybe turn on an audiobook, which contradicts my former statement, and pass out at a reasonable hour, at least make a solid effort for it. As far as daily things here, journal in in the uh, 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 words are hard. This thing, journal on this every day, which I'm about to do today. Get dressed, which I have accomplished today, as you will notice by the fact that I am not, and never will be, undressed on camera and clean, in quotes, the house. I can't really, you know, vacuum, mop, declutter the entire house, but I can at least, at least clean the area that I am in. So today I straightened things up, I folded the blankets and that I slept under today in here. I dusted like the shelves and the tables and so just doing things to take care of my environment has been helpful. So those are the things that I am going to focus on. I don't know if anyone else does bullet journaling. I am not, you know, particularly fantastic or creative at it. However, you don't have to be. And that's the cool thing about it. It's just for expression. It's for organization. It's for whatever you want it to be. I'm going to put a link in the description to what bullet journaling actually is, a good book that describes it, a book that I'm hoping to get for Christmas, Brian, if you're watching this. And uh, let me know what some things are that you guys like to do to control anxiety or to cope with life. And I will continue to update you on things that help me as I continue down this road. Thanks for sticking around. Let me know what you think about these guys. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> What are you doing today? Oh, I see you go kiss it. Yep, you can't steal my earrings either. She just wants to take all my things. That would that's that that's what kids are like, right? They just take all your things.